Uh, we were delighted to uh, present the Momentum 3 trial today at the American College of Cardiology meeting here in Orlando. Uh, the Momentum 3 trial looks at uh, uh, a new left ventricular assist device uh, called the HeartMate 3, which is uh, engineered uh, to be compact, more durable, and averts pump thrombosis. How it does that is by an engineering principle of fully magnetically levitated rotor movement. This device is fully implanted in the chest and has wide blood flow paths. The group of patients for whom such technology is relevant includes the advanced heart failure patient. These are patients suffering from uh, uh, severe heart failure, have a poor quality of life, uh, cannot tolerate uh, guideline mandated medical therapy or have become very refractory to it, often find themselves in the hospital. The left ventricular assist device technology has been advancing for about 50 years now. And each 10 or 15 years, we see a new technological advance. And the HeartMate 3, we believe, represents that particular advance. Momentum 3 is a randomized controlled trial between the HeartMate 2 device and the HeartMate 3 device. The HeartMate 2 device is the commonly placed, traditional, currently available device that is an axial flow pump which has a mechanical bearing in it. As compared to the HeartMate 3, which has no mechanical parts, is completely frictionless. We randomized 366 patients uh, in a one-to-one -one protocol to either the HeartMate 2 or the HeartMate 3 and followed them for a period of two years for this pivotal pre-specified analysis that we presented today. The primary endpoint of the trial was freedom from a disabling stroke, death, or the need to surgically reoperate or remove or replace the pump in patients. So it's a fairly hard uh, endpoint that we looked at. We found that compared to the HeartMate 2 device, the HeartMate 3 decreased the hazard risk and hazard ratio by 50% or greater in these patients at the two-year time point. We saw no reoperations whatsoever with the HeartMate 3 for the indication of pump thrombosis. Whereas the HeartMate 2 uh, had a high incidence of pump thrombosis requiring pump uh, replacement. Importantly, this trial also showed us another critical signal on stroke rates. We found that the HeartMate 3 group has a halving of the stroke rate compared to the HeartMate 2 group. For years and years and years, we have always told our patients that the uh, stroke rate is about 10% per year with these devices because of their problems related to hemocompatibility. We now find a halving of that stroke rate and that represents a practice changing advance in the field for us. We believe that the HeartMate 3 is going to be the predicate device that will expand the opportunities for these advanced heart failure patients uh, to receive this uh, treatment in a durable manner and provide them uh, with a long-term improvement in their quality of life and decrease their suffering.